Hi guys, good morning. This is Malone and we're gonna travel right now going to Cebu City with my husband and we will go through Sicilix going to Cebu City from here in Cordoba, municipality of Cordoba going to Cebu City and anyway, the Sicilix was open a year ago. It was, it is really new guys because it was a year ago when the Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway was open to the public. Since then, it was seen a stream of 3.6 million vehicles using the 8.9 kilometers modern toll expressway. About Sicilex, this is a monumental project that makes use of the latest engineering feats. The Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway has become Cebu's newest icon and a driver of the local economy. Spanning 8.9 kilometers, Sicilex links mainland Cebu in Cebu City to Mactan Island through the municipality of Cordoba. The artistically designed Sicilex has two lanes in each direction and an off ramps connecting to the main bridge to the Cebu South Coastal Road as well as a vi viaduct that levels down to the coastway in Cordoba's Barangay, Filipi Barang Cordoba's Barangay Filipino with a navigational clearance of 51 meters for shipping traffic and design speed of 80 to 90 kilometers per hour. The toll expressway is designed to serve at least 50,000 vehicles daily. On April 25, 2016, MPTC entered into a joint venture agreement with the local government units of Cebu City and Cordoba in the implementation of the Toll Expressway project and creation of the Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway Corporation to oversee it. This was followed by a concession agreement dated October 3, 2016, giving CCLX the exclusive rights and authority to undertake the financing, design, construction, operation, and maintenance of CCLX for a period of 35 years. The Toll Expressway will be turned over to the city of Cebu and municipality of Cordoba at the end of concession period. CCLX is just the first of several toll road expansion projects envisioned by MPTC in the Visayas and Mindanao. MPTC currently op operates the 84 kilometers North Luzon Expressway and Lex, um, 94 km Subic Clark Parlock Expressway, and uh, 14 km Cavite Expressway. It additional has three tall concessions currently under construction, namely the 45 km Cavite Laguna Expressway and the 8 km NLEX SLEX Connector Road. CISLEX is one of the largest infra infrastructure projects in the country. It is managed by the Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway Corporation under a joint venture agreement with the City of Cebu and Municipality of Cordoba. A joint venture agreement with the City of Cebu and Municipality of Cordoba. Sicilix is the subs subsidiary company of the Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation. The toll road aim of the Metro Pacific Investments Corporation, a listed infrastructure holding company that forms part of the MBV group of companies. MBVTC is the largest toll road concessionaire and op operator in the Philippines. Its expansion goals include establishing toll operations in the Visayas, other parts of the Philippines, and in nearby countries, notably Thailand, Vietnam, and Indonesia. Dito po kami dumaan, guys, kasi walang traffic. Talagang walang traffic sa expressway, sa Sicilix. So, it's so nice. It's so nice to be um, going through here, guys. So, I can advise you if you're gonna going to Cebu City from Mactan or from Cordoba or from Lapu-Lapu City, I can advise you to go here to um, going through the Sicilix because it's a nice travel. You can experience a nice and no traffic. No traffic at all. And the view is so nice. Um, while traveling, we can feel so um, very, very good. <laughs> Natatawa ko sa English ko. Ano <laughs> Ayan po guys. Yung sa front, yung sa ibaba yun yung front cam ng CCLX. And yung sa baba naman ay yung, yung back camera. So you can see, as you can see, the front side of the CCLX and the back road side also. The back side road. So it's very convenient if you're gonna have a travel while um, using this through the Cecilix going to Cebu City. This is my first time going through this bridge, guys. Because this just, as what I have said a while ago, this just opened just a year ago, just a year ago. And so this is it. This is Malone Travelers. <laughs> I um tell I, I just used my name Malone. That's the name that the Arabic people call me because they changed my nickname Mal Malu into Malone. So this is Malone Travelers. <laughs> it's nice guys, it's so nice. Especially if you are traveling in the morning, there's no sunlight, there's no hot from the sun and there's no traffic anymore. So you can feel so good. And now we are about to reach at the SMC side, I think. Yeah. 
we are about to reach at SN Seaside. I can see the billboard already of the SN Seaside. So the toll fee here, guys, if you are using your motorcycle, the toll fee is 60 pesos. 60 pesos. I, it's not yet arrived in the Seaside. Pay the toll fee here. So I'm just mistaken a while ago. I said I, we're gonna reach at SN Seaside, but it's not yet. So this is our payments, guys. The toll fee is 60 pesos. And the four, four wheels, I don't know how much to pay for four wheels guys because right now we are using our motorcycle so i know that it's on um, 60 pesos toll fee of a motorcycle so we're gonna proceed look at the view it's so nice so thank you for watching guys enjoy watching for the newest bridge in cebu So right now we are arriving at SN Seaside guys, that's the SN Seaside in Cebu City, Philippines. Thank you for watching guys, thank you for viewing.